Hi, I'm Kathy Johnson from Pyramid of Potential, and this is video 25 out of 60 of har Harnessing Learning Potential video series. And today, just a wrap up about primitive reflexes. An awful lot of people, when they first learn about the primitive reflexes, they're like, that's it. That's the missing link. You know, they may have known a lot about other programs and therapies, but they just didn't work well enough. And so they think, ah, oh, this must be it. Well, keep in mind, this is not a silver bullet. It is the foundation. And it is so important that this be done either first or in conjunction with other therapies. But standing alone, it's not quite strong enough. Mostly because somebody, by the time they uh, find out about uh, that the learning is not happening the way it should be, um, they find out about the primitive reflexes, the child is probably like nine or older. And in that case, they miss the first nine years of not just developing from the primitive reflexes, but through life experience and just brain building over that amount of time and those different experiences that can happen. So, we do this as the foundation. We do it as quickly as possible. When I'm working with people, we aren't looking for perfection. We're looking for that foundation so that the other things that we do will work fast. We're trying to get people up to speed um, within getting their brain up to speed within six months and then getting them hopefully out of special ed and um, really on their way in a year, year and a half. So this is not the total thing. Make sure that you realize that that's not all that there is. Let me tell you a story. So um, back when I was first starting working with kids, uh, there was one family who said, oh, we don't want to do those, those reflex. The, what, the, what are they? How could they possibly work? We don't want to do them. So I started working with their son, who was 12. And um, what happened was we're, we're working on their, the cognitive skills, improving memory and attention and processing speed. We're working really hard and we get to right, you know, working along until we get to a certain point, which is not very far, and nothing else happens. There's too much anxiety. The brain is not set up for this work. Um, we just hit a wall and we're not able to go beyond. Uh, there was another student that I had who, when we first started, um, I wasn't doing the reflexes at all, so I sent him on to uh, occupational therapy because I thought, and this was many years ago, this was, um, this would have been like 12 or 13 years ago, and I thought all occupational therapists knew about primitive reflexes. So I said, okay, we've got some primitive reflexes here, go off to, um, uh, to occupational therapy and come back when you're ready. And he came back and all of the reflexes were still retained. And um, once again, I, could, I didn't know, so I worked with them and only got so far. But once we made a breakthrough with the primitive reflexes, he flew and he was able to suddenly do so much more work and uh, improve his brain by so much. So that's one of the biggest things that I can tell you is make sure that you do everything that is necessary for improving the brain of the person you're working with. So that's it for today.